Have you ever wondered how the story of Christmas began? Not with the shepherds or the manger, but with an ordinary girl named Mary. It all started with what we now call the Annunciation. This wasn't your everyday encounter. The angel Gabriel, a messenger of God, visited Mary with an extraordinary message. Imagine being told you will conceive a son by the Holy Spirit. This was the news delivered to Mary, a proclamation that would change her life and the world forever. But what's truly remarkable about this event is Mary's reaction. She didn't respond with disbelief or fear. Instead, she demonstrated her faith and obedience in accepting this divine revelation. This young girl, with her courage and trust, agreed to a task of monumental significance. The news may have been unexpected, but Mary's faith never wavered. And so, Mary's yes set the stage for the greatest story ever told. Now imagine being Mary and Joseph expecting a child and having to travel to Bethlehem because of a census. Picture this. A journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem, a trek of about 90 miles through rugged terrains and unpredictable weather. This wasn't a pleasure trip, it was a journey of necessity, mandated by the Roman government. They were obligated to make this trip, regardless of Mary's condition. Expecting a child, Mary must have been fraught with concern and discomfort. But she soldiered on, bolstered by her unwavering faith and the support of her betrothed, Joseph. The journey was fraught with potential dangers, wild animals, bandits, and the simple perils of travel in those times. Yet, there was a sense of anticipation, a whisper of something momentous on the horizon. They were traveling not just to fulfill a civic duty, but to fulfill a prophecy, a divine plan that was larger than themselves. Despite the challenges, Mary and Joseph arrived in Bethlehem, unknowing that their child's birth would change the world. In a humble stable amidst animals and hay the savior of the world was born. This was no ordinary birth yet it transpired in the most ordinary of places. Picture this. A young woman, Mary and her husband Joseph far from home, seeking refuge in the only space available, a stable. It was here, surrounded by livestock and under a starlit sky, that the extraordinary happened. The birth of Jesus the Messiah was a moment of stark contrast. A king, not born in a palace, but in a setting of profound simplicity and humility. His first cries echoed not through grand halls, but through the quiet stillness of a stable, amidst the soft sounds of animals. His first bed was not a cradle of gold, but a manger filled with hay. This juxtaposition, this interplay of the divine and the ordinary, was not by chance. It served as a powerful symbol of Jesus' mission on earth. His birth in such humble circumstances was a testament to his purpose, to serve the meek, the poor, and the lost. It was a clear message that God's love transcends worldly riches and power. The birth of Jesus was a beacon of hope, a promise of salvation. It was a moment that marked the beginning of a journey that would forever change the course of human history. Even in the most humble of circumstances the King of Kings made his entrance into the world. The birth of this child was not just a miracle it was a turning point in human history. With the arrival of Jesus the world was graced with a new beacon of light, a symbol of unending love, and a promise of salvation. His birth is an enduring testament to God's profound love for humanity, a love so deep so boundless that he sent his only son to earth. This momentous event wasn't a surprise, it was the fulfillment of prophecies from the Old Testament. Prophets like Isaiah had foretold the birth of a Messiah, a savior who would guide humanity out of the darkness of sin and into the light of righteousness. His birth was the dawn of a new era, an era of grace and redemption. But what's the true significance of Jesus' birth? It's the embodiment of hope, the promise of salvation. It tells us that no matter how far we may stray, there's always a path back to love and righteousness. His birth reminds us that we are not abandoned, we are not alone, we are loved. In the grand narrative of human existence, the birth of Jesus is a pivotal chapter. It's a story that continues to inspire, to comfort, and to guide millions of people around the world. In the end, the story of Christmas is about more than a birth. It's about love, hope, and the promise of eternal life. Merry Christmas to all.